Yeah, little redneck corn fed up in the nose. Welcome back to NASCAR Wait, ladies and gentlemen, for race 16 to 36. We are at the first road course race of this Let's Play. We do like to remind you that I am ninth in points, so any win I can and will get will be crucial for me to get to the top of the points board. Honestly, I'm lucky I'm ninth in points right now. It's going to be five laps, which basically means qualifying is going to be super important. It's... On this, on this track in the Xbox games, I'm pretty good in the uphill sections of the course. You know, up where the yellow grandstands are on the map. But in this game, I always seem to spin out either on the first uphill or the second uphill. Because, you know, troll -la 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 -la. Troll -la 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 Because why not, you know. So, we're going to run some practice laps and these are back. These God awful bulky failed abortions that are the car tomorrow. So we're gonna run a few laps here at Martin here at Sonoma. I'm gonna call it Sonoma Raceway. That's its general name now, but back in 2007, it was called Infineon Raceway. 2007 till about 2010 or 20. Really? Really? People. Holy crap! We got out before Kurt Busch. We got out of Pit Road before Kurt Busch. But he's not going to beat us all the way around, I can tell you that. He ain't beating us around. Okay, we're in the grass. Grass is bad. And especially in this game, I am sucking horribly. Just going to fall up this hill. I thought Inside Line initially was going to be the worst NASCAR Let's Play I've done so far. This blows it away. This makes Inside Line look like fucking Thunder 2004. Of how dominant it was. So I just... So we're going to make the break down into turn 7. We rolled through there kind of quick, so... <coughs> oh, jeez. I'm on the grass. This isn't good. This is bad. This is really bad. Well, we cut... We cut corners. The nice thing about this... This game is they have no time penalties. Well, I guess you can consider cutting the course a penalty if you turn on black flags, but... I don't race with black flags because I race with either yellows or nothing. Because I think black flags and the mask are being fucking stupid. I mean, I understand the purpose of black flags, but in a NASCAR video game, honestly, I think they're pointless. Because they just tr either A, troll you, or B, screw you out of like, really good finishes. I swear that tricky section is going to be that uphill that Denny Hamlin is coming to now. That's going to be the tricky section of this. Hey, Kurt Busch, you're the quickest. Why? Why is it always Kurt Busch? See, is Denny Hamlin can't get out of the freaking way. We're just going to rough him up for a while. Cut across the turn seven grass because why not? And cut across this grass too. I know somebody's gonna probably tell me that I suck total platypus eggs, but whatever. 
And it's always turn 10. It's Sonoma that gets me on any late NASCAR game. Doesn't matter if it's the Xbox games or the Thunder games. Turn 10 will always screw with me. Some days I nail it, but other days I'm just holding on to be alive, trying not to bum rush my way into the tires. And we're first by 17 bloody seconds. Holy crap. Whoa, hello. 17 freaking seconds. What are these guys on? Like, hydraulics or just showing off like they are on Midnight Club? We're gonna burn her out. Gonna make her run up the hill. Cut the curb slightly. Get on the third gear, and get out of turn number four, up this hill, down to shoot, short shoot. Here, if this was, you know, inside line 14 or 15, or I think even 11 hit some time penalties, bull crap going on, um, there's a good chance I get busted, and I lose time in, you know, a decent starting position. So what I do is, what I found out, is when you're going through the fast section of this course, feather the, feather the throttle just slightly, don't really, you know, smash it, because there's really no other place you guys have to be at that immediate moment, at least till you get down to turn 11. At least till you get down to turn 11, then you kind of got to hammer on the brakes. Oh god, this is a wide, wide, wide ass corner. Oh no, no. Damn it. Yeah, I'm starting last because I screwed up the fucking corner. Call it, I'm starting last. Unless I can put together a good lap in the S's, which is highly unlikely. Eh, screw it. I'm starting last. Yeah, I knew I was starting last. Anyways, pace car is off. Green flag into the air in Finyon. If I did this with black flags on, or did stuff like this, good chance I'm getting black flag right about now. So, in a span of two turns, I've made my way to 31st, is they're getting very aggressive between Joe Nemechek in the 13, and Juan Pablo Montoya, the jet dryer man, in the 42. In fact, 2007 was the first time a foreign-born driver that was not born in the States, a foreign-born driver in NASCAR actually won a race, as we're going to try to go four wide for a moment, getting down in the S's. Sterling Marlin, you better give me room, buddy. As we make our way down the tricky turn S's, can we complete a lap? Because back in 2006, 2007, 2008, Completing a lap at Sonoma without somebody going off course could be a damn miracle. As um, David Gillen goes a little wide in 10, we're going to get into the 5 Kyle Bush. Guys to the left of me better give me room as we finally crack the top 10. AKA, this is where I belong. Lap 1 goes to the 31 of Jeff Burton. Turns out we have to run 6 laps around this course instead of 5. Thanks EA for being complete liars.
Oh, a little bit of contact there, basically sideswiping the 11 to Hamlin. As our left side is just gone. We're going to go up to second, and can we challenge the two with Kurt Busch? Kurt Busch has had, is no stranger to success at road courses. The Busch Series in 2006, he won the Watkins Glen race before, while, while beating out Robbie Gordon in a pretty cool last lap finish. Could we see that today? Could be a lot. Pretty likely, knowing how slide happy the car tomorrow is, and especially on road courses too. Do turn ten. And keep the car tight to the right. That is what you want to do at this track. Is there's not really, it's not like walking with leg where you can kind of go wide in certain corners. Um, you got to keep it tight in the tight down to the curb in the corners. The curb's almost like a reference point, if you will. The curb's like that one friend in uh, science that passes you sign, passes you notes or you know helps you. Anyways, if we head our way through the S's that time. Oh no. We're around. Really, that should be renamed the Troll Corner. That needs to be renamed the Troll Corner. Are you kidding me? That needs to be renamed the frickin' Troll Corner. That corner basically just trolled me right there. Anyways, our car is deformed again. And green flag is back into the air here at Sonoma. And the caution is out. And there are cars all over the place and these guys don't even get to the green. Because freaking Ken Schrader doesn't know how to get out of the way. I hate this crap. This race. I had so much hope for this race. Then it all went to pot. So much hope for this race. And it just went to crap. I was going to qualify last anyway because I spun out of, in the second hill. So... Really, there's no point in restarting because the game wouldn't let you. And for fuck's sake, I can't even describe it without getting pissed. Anyways, we finished 31st. Doesn't surprise me because this let's play sucked. Um, Kurt Busch wins the Toyota St. Mark 350 at Sonoma as the race ends with a caution. Cars are glitching out of the ground again. I don't even care anymore. So we drop a spot to 10th, which if this comes chase time and I'm like this, really going to be stressful getting in. So Kyle Busch is the points leader, but Jimmy Johnson closed in to 5 points, so basically it could very well be a 2 horse race right now, unless the chase field resets. So basically from Tony Stewart on back to about Dale Jr. is behind by at least 100 points. The next race is going to be the Lennox Industrial Tools 300 for race 17 to 36, 15 laps for the running of the at New Hampshire. We will see you then, provided I don't take therapy after Sonoma.